Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here at Activate Learn on Twitter. It is time for another book review and this time around I am wearing the black turtleneck jumper and the or the polo neck jumper just to cover this bit which happens to be the worst part of my body. That's what the book is about. It's actually Nora Ephron's uh, book. She's called it I Feel Bad About My Neck and Other Thoughts on Being a Woman. And um, I must admit, it was a very enjoyable and a very quick read. Once again, this weekend, I just wanted to read, uh, spend long hours reading some books, and I downloaded this one. Now, shoot me. No, actually, don't shoot me. I didn't know who Nora Ephron was. Until I did a bit of a search on her and she's just just about did all the screenwriting for Julie and Julia when Harry met Sally. What else? Uh, Sleepless in Seattle. Oh, my God. All the movies that I've seen in my past, she was somehow involved in them. So why didn't I know about them? God, I'm an idiot. Anyway. I was sucked into this book. Why? Because the very first chapter was all about how she hates her neck. And guess what? I hate my neck too. Ever since I saw that um, Ally McBeal episode where her boss talks about her waddle, that's what I'm afraid of. See, I've got a waddle and it's worsened over the years. Now, I am getting older and, you know, sometimes I do kind of do this and kind of stretch my face and I go oh see this is what I looked like when I was younger and I just don't understand some women who are my age in their fifties um, and I think what they've done is kind of like they've stretched their face or they've had some kind of Botox or something anyway Nora Ephron says that um, you really can't find anything to do with this this, this this waddle unless you do a facelift and there's no bloody way I'm injecting any poisons or bovine toxins into my face but as I was reading this I had to laugh because technically I had all the issues and all the thoughts that she had in her book she just basically wrote them out oh look Lo and behold, I have been searching for creams. I have been searching for little kind of rubber strips that kind of pinch the neck back, you know. And I, I, I resolved, I thought, you know, maybe I need to wear turtlenecks now and polar necks just to cover this waddle. Maybe I need to do what, like, you know, the show Frankie and I've forgotten the name, that show with um, Jane Fonda. She used to wear her shirts up high. Maybe she too was kind of trying to. Uh... Anyway, <laughs> I'm going on about the neck, aren't I? Really, the book is about, um, I guess, an older woman and all the maintenance stuff that we have to do and all the shitty little things that we have to do to keep ourselves presentable. Um, she talked about maintenance, menopause, empty nesters. She talked about her love of, of cooking. I had to laugh at her um, love of the apartment that she lived in in New York. As I was reading her, her writing, I thought, oh, she's definitely a New Yorker. Uh, she loves her city. She loves the apartment that she lives in. And the people just kind of came alive. Uh, one of the things I really, really wanted to go and explore that she talked about having to um, try and find this cabbage strudel. And I was, as I was reading it, I thought, I want some cabbage strudel. So I'm doing Google searches on strudels and that might be something I'm going to try and cook up and give a go because my mum gives me all these cabbages and I go, how do you cook cabbage? I just make bloody coleslaw out of it. I'm sick and tired of coleslaw. What else do you do with cabbage? Cabbage strudel. Anyway, Nora Ephron's I Feel Bad About My Neck stories that us women <laughs> kind of understand was a highly amusing read. It was also introduced by Do Dolly Alderton, who was um, another book review I did fairly recently um, on her book too and I'll, I'll put the link in the in the description below but if you want an amusing read then go with Nora Ephron go with this book it's very quick as well it's funny um, amusing and I think I liked it simply because look I've got that waddle can 
can I go through life like this? I probably could. Would I stand out? 